Hello guys, this is Malverse from Malverse Animations and today I'm going to show you how to use the new animal controller with any other creature or animal beside my assets. For this tutorial I'll be using these two dinosaurs courtesy of Jose Diaz, which are really cute and they have a lot of animations that we can use on the controller. So let's begin, let's import the animal controller to an empty project inside Unity. As you can see I'm using Unity 2018.3.2 since it's the lowest version of Unity the animal controller requires. Now let's wait for the import to be finished and then let's go to import the dinos. And done. Now let's go to the Malverse Animation folder, Animal Controller, Demos and open the Playground scene. Let's use this as the base environment to work with. And let's remove the wolf and the empty controller, so we do not have any controller on the scene. Ok, let's start with the Triceratops, since it's the only quadruped animal we have. Let's find the mesh and drag it into the scene. And now we have this little baby right here. Now, okay, first things first. Let's let's change the gizmos to a smaller size and let's hide the mine canvas too so because we don't need it at the moment. Okay, now let's start for real. Let's select the model the triceratops and let's add the animal controller to it. As you can see, also a rigid body component has been added. The reason is that the animal also needs a rigid body to work. The constraints are set to freeze rotation, use gravity is off and is kinematic is also off. Let's set the mass to 20. Also, update mode of the animator. Let's change it to animate physics since we are using a rigid body. Okay, now the animal controller needs an animator to work, and thankfully, we have in here in the animal in the common folder the clean animal animator. Here's the animator base. We can duplicate it and use it for the Triceratops. Ok, let's create a new folder to save all the assets we will use on the new animal controller for the dino. Let's go ahead and find the duplicated animal controller base and move it to the new folder we have just created. Let's rename it Triceratops AC for animal controller. Now, let's see what we have here. This is a base animator that contains empty animation states for us to fill out with animations that each animal has. As you can see, these states are empty, they have no motion in it. And also, this animator has all the transitions needed in order to the animal controller to work and all the parameters added. Ok, let's continue and let's add this, tree, this new animator to the animator component. Ok, this is how the animal controller works. The animal controller has two main features, the states and the modes. The states are animations that cannot be overlapped by another state animations. For example, you cannot be jumping and swimming at the same time, or you cannot be swimming and running at the same time, or swimming and flying. And the modes are animations that can be played on top of those animation states. For example, you can attack while flying, you can be hit while swimming or running, and so on. So this is kind of the basic logic around the animal control. Before continuing, let me show you what are these lines coming out of the little dino. These guys are pivots. 
and these pivots are relative positions used on the animal controller to cast rays. In this case, the hip and chest pivots are used for finding the ground and aligning the animal to the ground while he is on a slope. Now, to edit the pivots, you can click here on the edit button and move the pivots around so you can have them in the right place. For example, for the chest pivot, you need to put it right in the middle of the front legs. And from for the hip pivot, we need to put it in the middle of the back legs. That's it, that should be perfect. Now let's increase both multipliers on the pivots so the ground can be found easier. Okay, let's set a value of 1.2 for now. It is necessary that the ray or length of the pivots are larger than the animal feet. As you can see here, the blue lines are just below the ground. Next step is to set the height. The height is the distance between the hip pivot and the ground. You can hit calculate and the script will set it for you. As you can see, it's the same value as the hip Y position on the pivot. Okay, let's make a quick pause and let's uh, select the camera and put the animal as the target to follow. Okay, that should be it. Now, if we hit play, nothing should happen. We should get this error because we don't have any state and we don't have any animation set it on the animator also. Great, everything is working as expected. As a final step, we need to create some collider for the animal. So let's select the spine and let's add the capsule collider. Let's set it on the center of the, of the animal. Let's change the axis to X and change something like this. Also, let's add another collider in the head. Now, on the next tutorial, we'll be going to be adding the states.